Hey, what's going on? It is V from V Love and Crystals. Today we're doing a fun pick a card reading on what are your witch powers. So we have three piles here. Please choose intuitively. Take some time though, don't rush. Timestamps are waiting for you below. Please check out Lourdes from Expansion for Love's channel. Her link is going to be down below. She's going to be getting into the same topic. And so you can check out any power you want over there. Please let her know that you stopped by. And if you're coming from her channel to check me out, thank you. I'm so excited to welcome new friends. Please. All right, in the first position, we have alignment. And clarifying that, I have the manifestation card here. So I feel your witchy powers have to do with you um, bringing elements together you have manifestation here so you really and, and then we have the three of cups which is oh my gosh that's even that's what i'm talking about you bringing elements together you know so i feel like you work you would probably work well with herbs crystals um essential oils i think working well in nature i feel like you would do very very well working with different elements i think you're like the magician here so amazing and the three of cups is clarified by the yin yang so i feel that you there's like a sense of duality here like you having like i said balance alignment you bringing elements together and i think this is all within yourself and i've read somewhere that the three of cups it's like different parts of yourself coming together that's another depict another way that someone interpreted the three of cups three different um elements coming together or three different parts of you coming together and if you look at these you know these women they kind of look like they are you know related somehow but different or maybe they're the same person just in different ages you know or different um phases in their lives you know so just think of it that way yin yang this is like the dark the light coming together a nice balance like i said duality here so i feel like it's some um, alchemy going on here. I feel that's what you're best at. That's what your best, um, your, your strong suit is. Working well with elements, creating spells, and working well with, with earthy, earthy, um, like working with the earth. I'm just, I'm going to leave it at that. The next one we have is masculine, and we have careless. The masculine energy, which is so funny because right next to the masculine, we have the divine feminine here in my eye candy oracle, which is for sale, by the way, if you're looking into purchasing this deck. Um, my information on where you can find this deck is down below. So, commitment paired with divine feminine, and then we have commitment and masculine with divine feminine. So, I feel the, the careless card is, is um, clarifying the masculine, masculine energy. I feel... What this is saying is that you're more into your feminine energy than your masculine. Um, the masculine, um, you're pouring out, but you're keeping more of your femininity, if that makes sense. So you have a balance between both, but you're more into the feminine part of your energy, if that makes sense. Um, so I, I don't know if this, this is like you um, very, very emotional when you need to be, or maybe you're very... Um, yeah, like your hormones just run really high. Maybe they run high in, in the moon, in the phases of the moon. Or maybe you're just very, very in tune with your feelings. That's what I'm getting here. But we do have the masculine as well. So you, there's, like, there's a balance here. But it could be that you have more of something. We have yin-yang. I think there is a balance here. That's amazing how we have yin-yang, divine, and masculine. And then we have alignment. Three of cups. That's really amazing. Um, I do feel there's like some kind of temperance energy here. Temperance, temperance, temperance. This careless card is like... Um, you look at it, it's like the, the, the chocolate's pouring out of the spoon. And I feel like that's what's happening with the temperance. It's like she's transferring liquid to liquid or cup to cup and a little bit of water spills out. I mean, nobody's perfect. A little bit's going to spill out. I mean, you probably won't see that in the Rider Waits Smith card. But to me, I feel like um, a little droplet might come out of it. So, you know, nobody's perfect. So something might um, expel or, you know, spill over. So... Overflow, the cup is flow, floweth over. Okay, then we have dreams, and then we have determination. So, like I said, I feel that you're like a manifester. Really. You're like, you see this, you see a vision, like if it's really here, and you, you set the intention, you manifest every day, every day, every day. You probably work with fire or water or any other, um, maybe herbs or flowers, uh, plants, like this iris here. 
and you bring them to fruition to where you actually can see them and feel them in your hands. So I would say that your strongest point is that you, you this is something that you're, you're perfecting, you're mastering, determination, you're staying on point every day, R routine, this is routine for you. Your witchy powers that you have has to do with you blending things together, like the temperance. That's what I'm getting here. Alignment, three of cups, ten, that's total temperance right there. Um, and you are so good at your craft. And like I said, only a little little droplet comes out of your cup. So, <laughs> and then your dreams. Yeah, fulfilling your dreams. You have the moon right here, three of cups. The moon's high, high, bright, high and bright. And then you have the dreams card here. So that's what I'm getting for you. I feel like you maybe fulfill your dreams. You manifest it. You're like the magician. That's what I'm getting, this masculine energy right there. Masculine magician, that's what I'm getting. Man manifester. So that's what I have for you, my dear. Please check out the lovely Lord of This channel to see what she has for you. And now we're on to pound number two. Hey, friends. Thank you for being here, pound number two. I'm so excited. All right. So for you, we have the balance clarified by the autumn here. We have nine of wands clarified by the support here. We have soulmate clarified by fulfillment. We have winter clarified by restless. And we have attentive clarified by birth. So for you, pound number two, I feel like your your power is that you help heal people. You help restore the energy, depleted energy, dark energy. You're like you're the transmuter. Because we have the balance, we have the nine of wands, and then we have attentive. Then we have support, fulfillment, and birth. I feel that and then we have the soulmate right smack in the middle. So it's like you attract other other people. Like you attract their energy. And they are attracted to you. You attract them because you are the per you know, you're like the, the light. You want to help others. That's how you work. That's how you grow. That's how you heal. Yourself. Attentive. You're taking care of yourself. We have these wands here. Winter. I see a lot of candy canes, which to me is like wands. And if you look at the Kauai Tarot, created by Diana Lopez, that's my first tarot I ever purchased for myself. She uses candy canes for wands. That's what this means to me. I feel that you rec recognize when people are at their lowest or really going through it. They're really, really trying. They're like depleted or on the verge of depletion. And you come in like the beautiful light that you are and you help people. You have the nine of wands. Yes. So I think that you attract them, your souls, your souls match up for some reason. And it's like you're meant to be there for them. And at that time, at that perfect time. And it could be seasonal. And, you know, it can be that you're at your best and like during certain seasons. Like maybe this, you know, this says winter. Maybe you're, you were at your best during winter. Or maybe you're at your best um, at nighttime or in the daytime. It can be, you know, the time of day or time of year. Um, <clears throat> but there is a balance here also. So it's like... When you're at your highest, when you have the most energy, that's when you work. So it can be that maybe you feel more energized at night, or you feel more energized during the summer, or the spring, or the fall, or the winter. Um, we get winter here, so it can be, I'm just getting seasonal. I don't think you work all year round. I think you have a nice balance for yourself. We have autumn, while well, we have autumn and winter. Look at that, we have two seasons. So it could be that you work well when the, the, the veil is thin, really thin, all the way through winter. Maybe that's your the transition for you. Like you, you feel really high in energy during the very beginning of autumn, and then it trickles over into winter, and then you're like, okay, I'm done. I need a break. Um, we have support. You supporting others. That's your 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 that's your power. Is that you heal. You're the transmuter from negative to positive. Like the like the um, what is it, the tourmaline? No, no, the smoky quartz. The smoky quartz is a is a perfect trans transmuter. Um, and then we have fulfillment. So you helping people see what they're f the, what th what they're meant to do. You helping people feel good again. F you're filling their cups, and it's filling yours in return. We have restless. So this is like your energy. Go 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 go. There's all these wands here. Go go go. Not of wands with the winter, and there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wands in here. So nine and seven. That's a lot of wands. So that's what I'm saying. You probably f go 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 go, and then you stop. Balance. And then you do, you stop until you find the results you're looking for 
birth, until people have their awakening, until people have their cups full, that's when you stop. That's when you feel satisfied. It's like Mary Poppins or it's like, um, um, what's her name? Nan Nanny McPhee. She keeps helping and helping and helping until she is no longer needed. Her soul was matched with those kids. They needed her. That's why we have the soulmate. It's like you're purposely matching yourself or finding these people that need the help. And I feel like you're a big ba bag of Mary Poppins magic. <laughs> and you're like this healer, very uh, encouraging and, and attentive and loving and powerful. But you know your boundaries. And she has, she's wounded, but she's, she, still, she still doesn't give up without a fight. It's like no matter what problems people give you, you can do it. You can tackle it. You can help them see through. So that's what I, I get for you, upon number two. Please check out the lovely Lourdes at um, Expansion for Love's channel. Let her know that you stopped by. And please do, um, you know, if you came over from her channel, please subscribe. I'll see you over in part number three. All right, friends. Thank you for watching part number three. So we have air clarified by the conversion card, judgment clarified by the death card, delicate clarified by fusion, careless clarified by divine feminine, and fearless clarified by the rewards card. For you, my friendly number three, first of all, if you came over from Expansion for Love's channel, thank you so much for checking me out. And these are my eye candy oracles, which are for sale. If you're interested, my information is down below to where you can find this. Okay, so look. What I'm getting for you, I feel that you are the tower bringer. You witchy power you. I feel, I mean, you witchy you. You witch you. Um, and I, I can totally resonate with this. I feel that this is like that energy. It's like your, your soul recognizes when, when it's getting too intense. or when it's, getting, when it's like your surroundings no longer match you. You're like, no, this is for the birds. Goodbye. See ya. I feel that your power is to rip your rug right under from from under you if that makes sense look careless fearless is here the fool judgment day goodbye time to await time to wake up time to see i think your your um i think your your um your gifts your witchy power is either clear cognizant and clear yeah i think it has to do with your mind space like you're very like you're, you're, you're in tune with your crown chakra. Your crown chakra is like, I don't know, you're very psychic. Like you get a lot of um, downloads and all that stuff. You get a lot of, it's like, oh, wait a minute. No, I can't deal with you. Let me rip this from under my, my feet and start afresh, start anew. Um, you're, and I think you're very, very risky and you're like the full card. Look, careless, fearless. You, you're like relentless too. You don't, you just... You see when things are not working for you and you're so quick to freaking make that tower moment happen. So this is you. I don't even know what label to call you because I don't really like labels. Um, but I feel that you are you are the, the person who, you're the shifter. You shift. You change your environment. It's like you feng shuiing your area, your life, your spirit. You know, your spirit, it recognizes when it's really, really low at its lowest point. And then it does the work for you. And then your body is like, oh, wait, what? What just happened? I have to catch up now. Um, air, conscious, like your, your mind is very in, like, in tune with the surroundings. And you receive those downloads at night probably. Um, you probably, yeah, conversion is here. So you changing things up, like I said. And you, you ask questions later. You don't, you just do it right away. You don't really get in your own way. You don't stop yourself. You just do it. Judgment day. Renewal. And I totally resonate. It's like, this is not working for me. Okay, time to X, Y, and Z. And then your body catches up. You're like, wait a minute, what? Your emotions are like, what? Wait, what? Oh no, now I have to cry this, cry about this because this is really upsetting. I'm not used to this change. Oh my gosh, this change. So look, the butterfly is here, delicate. You are about change. You're, the, you're the, like the, the shifter, the changer. Like you're, which power is you transmuting? And then, you know, power number two, that's another shadow part of you, transmuter. But this is like a whole new level where you're actually making things 
um, happen in 3D form. It's not just like in your mind or it's not just in your dreams. It's like real, real life. Like, I mean, everything's real, but I'm just saying like physical, like 3D where you can actually touch the change, you know? Oh, I'm no longer with this person. Oh, I'm no longer in this job. Oh, no, I'm no longer uh, doing tarot. Oh my gosh, I'm no longer in this religion. Whoa. So I feel that you, you're like this beautiful butterfly, this witchy butterfly. You're changing and you bring on the change. And I think you don't really, you don't, it's like this conscious is here. This air card is there up front. But I feel that's just you being psychic, you know? Your, your, your subconscious does the, the grunt work for you. <laughs> and yeah, fearless energy for sure. It doesn't get all up in its, its uh, fear space. You're, you're fearless, very fearless. You don't have time to, to think things through. You just take action subconsciously. And then everything follows suit. Uh, conversion, yes, changing. Like I said, we have delicate change. We have death cards. So you ripping things right from under you and asking questions later. Like, oh, shoot. I'm not going to go to work tomorrow. Since when? Oh, my gosh. Um, but it's something that you need to do. So it's like bittersweet. It's like it needs to happen. That tower moment needs to be. If, it if it's not going to happen, then you're like... You're stuck in a funk. You're stuck in your chrysalis or your cocoon. And you can't break out of it. I'm stuck in the middle. And I can't break out of it. I don't know. That song. I don't know. What's the name of that song? I don't know. Fusion. You bringing things together. You figuring out what's going to work best for you going forward. You finding that change. Finding your groove. The careless card is there. That's you pouring things out. Just changing. Letting things fall away divine feminine you're really into your i think you're like yes yeah, psychic i'm getting queen of cups here very very psychic with this conscious card and the divine feminine queen of cups energy and then rewards you knowing that this is better for you so it's like you're this very very psychic for number one um and you bring the chain like you're very i don't know what's the, you're transformational you're transformer transformal what's it called transformational very transformational with this butterfly and the reason, even butterfly right here in the judgment card with the cat and the music notes. And then the fearless, oh my gosh. It's like you have nine lives and you just keep going and keep changing. You keep changing. You keep removing yourself from things that don't serve you. And you ask questions later. That's what, probably what the air card is like. Oh, wait, what? You're thinking about it later after, <laughs> after the fact. Rewards, yes. You, you've seen the better side of things because you have brought it on to yourself and the universe is saying you did the grunt work time to reward you so i feel you you're very very powerful conversion you realize when things are not in alignment with you and you're changing look changing from watermelon to juice from flesh watermelon fruity flesh to beautiful delicious soothing juice the change, delicacy, fusion coming together. Freaking amazing. We have two of them. Fusion with conversion, yes. <clears throat> so, thank you for watching and you have a lovely day. Check out the expansion for Love's channel. Let me know that you stopped by from her channel and I'll see you in the next video.